Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a new product opening tonight. Do have one box here of 2021 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football and we don't have any listed on our website. Do just have a box or two left in store. Did come in a bit late today so I figured instead of listing them uh, we'll just let people in store locally here in the Pinellas County area, Tampa Bay area. Grab them. If there's any left may throw some on the website on Monday. But I'm excited to check this out. Last year's preview box wasn't anything too crazy. I actually started off the video liking it but by the time it was uploaded I changed my mind that was the title of the video is I changed my mind I don't think I like these but one of my most crazy experiences last year during personal breaks was a box of contenders draft picks for I believe George T from Hawaii and it had three cracked ice autographs back to back to back so that was a very crazy experience that was actually i believe our first ever see it to believe it go ahead and link it right up there because that is an older video camera quality is not the greatest audio is not that great but you definitely have to watch that otherwise it doesn't feel like it was real so maybe i'll have some magic like that again this year i don't think that'll ever happen again but i mean contenders draft pick seems to be the crazy product so let's go ahead and check this on out six total autos per box look for those ultra rare campus id inserts but i'm ready to get started so let's just snap ourselves into the corner and i'm ready to get started we have mac jones i believe it's covered up i think it's mac instead of max Yep, Mac with a C, Mac Jones, and Trevor Lawrence did actually pull that RPA of Trevor Lawrence out of 75 yesterday, not yesterday, Wednesday out of Legacy. It feels like it was yesterday, but it was a couple days ago. Then we have new, look for ticket stub autographs. All right, a little college information there. And just about the ticket stub autographs again. And should be, yep, 18 cards per pack, six packs per box, so one auto per pack for a total of 108 cards. So let's crack on in to this box of contenders draft picks. And let's see if I can work some football magic again. Like I said, did pull a Trevor Lawrence RPA out of 75 on Wednesday. So let's see. Maybe we can find another Lawrence here or perhaps some other nice draft picks. All right, pack number one. Let's check it out. All right. This is this year's ticket design for football. We have school colors inserts, Terrace Marshall Jr. We have playing the numbers game, Najee Harris. Another school colors here, Kenneth Gainwell. Campus legends, Deshaun Watson. We have playing the numbers game, Zach Wilson. School colors, Quiddy Pay. And our first autograph, from FSU, Marvin Wilson. That is a sticker, sticker auto here, college ticket, Marvin Wilson. Now I'm not too sure how I feel about this year's ticket design. I know I mentioned I didn't like last year's too much. This year, perhaps it's not doing it for me. I can imagine on-card autos in these in an optic style would look super nice. But for these regular draft picks, not necessarily to my tastes. That is cool, Florida boy here, Marvin Wilson from the Florida State Seminoles. And then we do have a campus ticket here. Unfortunately, it does have a print line across the middle, but Allen Robinson the second here, campus ticket. Not numbered, but is a foil pair. Like I said, does have that really large print line across the middle. I'll sleeve it up regardless though, because it is a parallel. And here's the rest of our season tickets. Let me get that sleeved up. And then we'll get on into pack number two. So a base auto in an unnumbered parallel so far. This pack feels a bit thicker. That's a bit odd. Right, look, there's a collegiate Tom Brady card in the back. That's pretty cool. And all right, here we go. Pack number two. Campus Legends, Tom Brady. Numbers Game, Chubba Hubbard. School Colors, Pat Fryermuth. Is a Trevor Lawrence insert playing the numbers game. Trevon here, school colors. Legends, Lamar Jackson. And Shane Simpson is our autograph of the pack. Another base auto here, Shane Simpson. Towson. Took his talents to Virginia. All right, so that's Virginia here on the college. And we have another campus ticket, 
Still with a little bit of printing error there, but definitely a lot better than that Robinson. But Nick Chubb here is our second ticket parallel. It is disappointing to see that both of the campus ticket parallels have had something off with them. Hopefully that is just this box and not a production-wide issue or a product-wide issue. But that is a bit disappointing to see. All right, Len. Oh, look, this top loader is bent. What the heck? Look at that. Top loaders are hard enough to come by. It stinks when you pull one fresh out of the pack and it's got something wrong with it. I actually was going through a pack of top loaders the other day where every other one was like split. And I was like, come on, Ultra Pro, what are you doing? They weren't even the regular ones. They were the premiums. Premiums are supposed to not have problems like that. All right, here we go. Pack number three, halfway point in the box. Uh, numbers game, Kylan Hill. Ooh. Ooh, that looks cool. We have Kyle Pitts, School Colors. Campus Legends, DK Metcalf. Kellen Mond, Numbers. Rashad Bateman, School Colors. Nico Collins, Numbers Game. And 2 of 10, Prism, Pat Fryermuth here. That is a gold college ticket on card Prism autograph. That's cool. I like it a lot. Was not expecting a Prism card in here, but that is super sick. On card autograph. Very interesting auto as well. Very similar. I don't want to say squiggles because I feel that's a bit rude, but I'm impressed by how similar those are to each other. But on card, gold, Pat Fryermuth, 2 of 10, Prism Autograph. So that's cool. We did get something low numbered here, and right behind it, we do have School Colors Cracked Ice, 23 of 23. Kyle Trask, whose name likes to taunt me. I want to say Thrask, and then I want to say Rask, like Tuka Rask. This one's a bit thick here. Normally, Panini Prism cards fit into regular size top loaders. Didn't want to go, so I'm not going to force it. Uh, I do have this. I, I actually got something in the mail at home. I think this is... I don't know if it's 55 or 75, but it's a little loose here, so I'm assuming a 75 point. A little bit not the cleanest, but... Doesn't have any gunk on it, just a little dusty. So I'll stick that auto in there. Let's sleeve up our cracked ice. 23 of 23, Kyle Trask from the University of Florida School Colors. That looks super nice in the cracked ice. Super nice in cracked ice. Super nice cracked ice. Should quit my YouTube career and become a rapper because that's I'm obviously talented at it. Ha ha ha. Anyways, let's continue with this pack. That was a nice one there. Cracked ice and a gold prism. All right, maybe the halfway point is where the craziness starts. Let's go, pack number four. We just gotta find two more packs in a row with gold prism autos. All right, last year we found three cracked ice in a row. Why not just get three gold prisms this time? All right, here we go. JV and Hopkins. We have Jonte Williams, School Colors. Greg Rousseau. Numbers, Trey Sermon, School Colors, Legends, Randy Moss, Devonta Smith, Numbers, and for our next auto, we have Trevon Morig. And as a base auto, college ticket, of course, and a campus ticket this time. No print lines, so that's good to see. Tredavious White, campus ticket from LSU. So another base auto and a base campus ticket. Get the auto sleeved up. And all right, last two packs of the box. Would love to find another numbered autograph and another numbered parallel, hopefully a base parallel instead of an insert, just so I could see what the other tickets besides campus and season tickets look like. All right, here we go. Pack number five. Gronk. 
Kadarius Tony, School Colors. Campus Legends, Russell Wilson. Numbers Game, Zach Wilson. Jalen Waddle, School Colors. Travis at 10, Game. Elijah Moore, School Colors. And we have KJ Costello. The duality of man here in terms of these signatures. KJ Costello is our next base auto here. And we have a campus ticket of Cole Beasley. This one does have the print line. So it does seem like more often than not, I'm look at that two of season tickets. More often than not, you are unfortunately getting some issues with those camp campus ticket parallels, which is unfortunate because I really like the hollow design on them. Our Tredavious White has been the cleanest. All right, final pack, final chance to find something crazy. Can we just keep up the one-of-one one pull streak tonight? We did find a one-of-one one in that impeccable soccer opening earlier. Let's see if we can just find another one. That'd be great. Justin Fields, School Colors. Definitely some nice rookie cards inside these inserts, but being collegiate and being inserts without the RC stamps, I'm not pulling them out. Numbers game, Rondell Moore. Sean Wade, School Colors. Campus Legends, Jerry Rice. Do we have another prism card here? Something feels poofy. Perhaps I'm crazy, who knows, but Justin Fields, game. Carlos Basham Jr., School Colors. And Baron Browning is our auto. Not sure what was creating the poof there. We have Baron Browning for our sixth and final autograph of the box. We do have another clean campus ticket, however, DeAndre Hopkins. But it doesn't seem like we will find any... Hey, look at Justin Herbert. It doesn't seem like we'll find any other parallels to see what the numbered base parallels look like. So we've only seen college, campus, and season tickets here in this opening. And that school colors parallel, which we did find cracked ice, Kyle Trask. So definitely can't complain about that. 23 of 23, that's a gorgeous card. But that box is empty, so let's get it on out of the way. As I mentioned, we did find some nice rookies, nice draft picks here in our inserts. We had Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, but just leaving them in their respective piles since they are just collegiate inserts with no RC stamps. But let's go ahead and do a recap here. Of course, one low-numbered and only one numbered autograph in this box. Had that gold prism college ticket on card, Pat Fryermuth auto. Number two of 10. And then the rest of our autos were base college ticket autos on sticker. We had Baron Browning, KJ Costello, Trevon Morig, Shane Simpson, and Marvin Wilson. We had one numbered parallel, non-auto, school colors crack dice. I like it with the orange and blue here, Kyle Trask. Not the right Florida school for me. Still a gorgeous card there, 23 of 23. And for our other five campus tickets, we did have DeAndre Hopkins, Cole Beasley, Tredavious White, Nick Chubb, and Allen Robinson. So I'm not too crazy about the base design. My favorite inserts here have to be those campus legends. I really like the design. I like the kind of fake movements with the different panels on the sides. But I do like all the inserts. Still not super crazy about the ticket design. I think in general I'm just not crazy about the Panini tickets on regular paper. I do like them on Chrome a lot more. So I'm very curious to see what Contenders Optic looks like this year. Should be nice. Also excited. For more Prism, we got a little sneak peek there with that auto. Of course, it's Contenders Draft Picks Prism. But very curious to see what Prism Draft Picks looks like. I think either next week or the week after, I was looking at our allocations because I do think I saw a comment asking, I should go back and respond to that, asking if we would have, or maybe it was a DM. I don't respond to DMs. I think it was actually a DM asking. So we will be having a tiny bit of Prism draft picks when it comes in. Got allocated one hybrid box, so I'll probably just go ahead and open that one on up. And we got three regular hobby boxes, so probably just two available for sale. We'll see what comes in from other distributors. But right now, don't expect too much, unfortunately, from us on the Prism draft picks, if you guys are curious. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing here out of these. And these were together in the same pack. The school colors cracked ice and that gold college tickets. A little bit disappointed on the campus tickets having those print issues. Hopefully that was just like I said with this box and not to cross the print run because that'd be disappointing. You get you get one parallel per pack and then it's got a big print line on it. It really tracks from it. But I like the inserts. 
like the school colors and the numbered, and that's really cool there on card on the prism. But overall, this was pretty cool. We got the Trask out of 23 and the Friar Myth out of 10. But let me know your thoughts on this box in the comment section down below. Would have loved to see more than just one numbered autograph, especially. Uh, it was low numbered, so that was good. But perhaps if you got an auto out of 99, the rest being base autos, I could see that definitely being disappointing. But overall, I do like that you do get an auto per pack. Of course, however, the, the price of the product does reflect that. But let me know your thoughts on Contenders Draft Picks in the comment section down below. This product in general. Uh, well, this box and the product in general down below. And, of course, I had a great time opening this box up, having a great time filming. So if you enjoyed the video, which I really hope you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, I do just have a couple of personal breaks to get through tonight. I do have a couple of TCGs, Cardfight Vanguard, and Wise Shorts. But I'll also be ending off tonight's videos with a small box break of that Upper Deck NHL Rookie Box Set. So if you like hockey, make sure to stay tuned for that. That's the only other sports opening coming tonight. But I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond for your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. To the seven Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Kira Soltari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have 12 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D., Von Dusty Archuleta, Jerry H. Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. Thank you so much to all of our members. And of course, all channel members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. This was fun to open on up. Really liked our two numbered cards. Really liked the inserts. And I hope anyone that buys a box in store, like I said, because there's none listed on the website right now, hopefully everyone has good luck with their pulls there. I won't be able to see them, of course, because I'm not in the shop too often. But that does it here for this opening. So, like I said, that's it for football, but do have some hockey coming later. If that's not your jam, just tune in next time when I have a new product of football to check out for you guys. But that's it for me here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!